Welcome back everybody to the channel. Welcome back to Gold Rush the game, formerly Gold Rush the game. It is now called Gold Mining Simulator. Welcome back to that. As you can see, we have our 50 buckets we're going to clean out today. Hopefully we get a chunk of gold. Also have a bonus 20 buckets and a trailer load down there of 30 more buckets. Yeah, you heard me right. I've got a bonus 20 buckets today. We ain't got no time to waste though. We're going to get going if I'm going to get all this cleaned out in my allotted time for the day. This is the only stream this week, uh, actually, because I have to work this afternoon, then I'll be uh, working the rest of the week, too. So, only stream this week. But, if, if you're interested, then go check out Pixel News Plays, my other channel down below. Stuff like Dinkum and Power World, Thursdays and Sundays. If you like Farm Sim, go check out my Farm Reduce YouTube channel. The first one acre farm video drops this Friday at 3 p.m. Central Time, so go check it out. I, I think you might I think you might enjoy yourself. Uh, let's get started, and then we can answer questions and stuff while we go. Because we got a lot of buckets to do. Uh, never checked so fast, I've been waiting for this. I'm excited, what's up Squarish, how's it going? Squarish Plum. It's a clever, clever name, by the way. Uh, Distortion said, "Why well, wait for a patch because of bugs?" Well, people are complaining about bugs, yeah, but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a huge issue with a whole lot. But I think a lot of it may be on console, and I don't think a lot of people are are separating the two. I think it's people complaining about bugs, but from what I've seen on on posts and stuff, most of it is on console, not PC. But I mean, there's there's still bugs in the game, sure. It's, I mean, it's there's still bugs in Skyrim, you know. Um, but I, I don't know. It's, it doesn't keep me from playing it. I quite enjoy the game. So. What's up, Karsten? How's it going? You're playing on Xbox One right now. Haven't experienced any bad bugs? Yeah, see, there you go. Yeah, I mean, I guess everybody's got a different experience with it, so. See a lot of complaints due to the name change. Think about that statement for a second and then ask yourself, why? Why why do people care what the name is? People want to complain for the sake of complaining. That's the that's the best part about everybody having their opinion heard these days. Is everybody's gonna complain for the state of complaining complaining. Exactly. It doesn't matter what the name is. That's my point. It's like, who cares? Why are people complaining? Oh god, the devs are doing something different. We're not gonna like it. How do you know? You haven't seen it yet. That's most complaints right there. <laughs> They're doing something different. It's going to be terrible. Well, you don't know that because they ain't done yet. Like, yeah, they lost the license to Discovery uh, for the name Gold Rush, but does that mean it's going to be worse? No, I think it's going to be infinitely better. I think there's a lot of things that... I mean, I don't, I don't know this to be a fact, but I, I put this on a Reddit thread, too, was that it, it's very possible that they were being held up um, by the licensing agreement with Discovery for the name Gold Rush. Maybe they couldn't do some things they wanted to do kind of deal. So, you know, I don't know that for sure. I'm just guessing. I'm just, I'm just making assumptions here. But that seems like that could be the case. Not that it is, but it could be the case. And if that is the case, then imagine what they could do now without any any red tape. What's up, Gabby? How's it going? Yeah, just imagine what they can do with the game now without any red tape. You know, that's all I'm saying. Like, I try to have an optimistic outview of this. I, I think this could turn out really, really good for the game. Opinions are like belly buttons. Everybody's got one. That's true. That's true. 100 times better. I'm gonna finally start getting new content, whether it takes them a year or two, finally come out with some stuff. I mean, they've already got uh, a tiny roadmap. Like, it's a it's a, it's a a three-step roadmap. It's a simple one, but it's on Steam. Um, so quarter two, they're looking to drop a DLC, and then uh, quarter four, the end of the year, they're looking to drop a DLC that's like an expansion DLC. So I'm happy to pay for DLC for the game. You know what I mean? Like, I'm happy to support the devs and what they're doing, what they're working on. Like, I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. 
can you have fun without the DLC or is it late game stuff? Uh, no, the only DLC really is the Frankenstein. And it, that's just an excavator with a, uh, without the bucket, but with the, uh, conveyor belt on top of it. That's it. I mean, that's, that's the, that's the DLC. Like, you don't need the DLC to play the game. I don't have anything DLC-wise right here. Nothing. So, I, I quite enjoy the game. Hope they come out with a DLC that I have to pay for so that I can support. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't... Like, I want people to be able to get the DLC and stuff, so I don't want it to be too expensive, because I know money's tight for everybody right now. Um, but I'll gladly pay, if I'm going to play a game, I'll gladly pay to support the devs. That's like Giants, right? I play a lot of Farm Sim, too, over on Twitch, and I upload them to Farm Reduce. Um, I'll gladly pay for DLC for Farm Sim to support Giants, because Giants is one of the best companies out there that works with players, modders, you know, to, to, to give the... the the best effort for the best content possible for the game. So, I mean, why would I not? You know, why would I not pay for DLC to support Giants? I can't think of a reason not to. I mean, other than if I just don't have the money for it right then. That would be a good reason. All these are averaging about 50, buck, uh, 50 ounces of magnetite per bucket. So that's that's a pretty good average, about two ounces, two and a half ounces of gold per bucket. We need to get in some better numbers if we're going to do any good here, though. Forty-seven. That's not good. We're just dropping all these over. This is all we're doing today, by the way. We're just processing pay dirt. We got a long way to go. Long way to go. It's going to take a lot. I really should probably be washing these as I go. I'm not doing a test today. We don't have any gold ounces. Uh, we are going to do another gold guest giveaway at some point when we do a 100 bucket clean out. Uh, I am doing one just for fun right now. 50 buckets, no tests. So we're not drill testing at all. So uh, this is not for giveaway, just for fun. And we do have some guesses in here, so that's good. Let's go ahead and flip this bad boy on. Oh. The little generator won't run both of those. Okay. Well, that's... That's bad for us because I need to run both of these. I need to run both of these, or I may be here all day, and I don't have all day. Let's just keep going. We need to get us another generator, probably. That'd probably be ha handy, handy, handy. Have you ever tried using the bulldozer to level the cuts and dig by levels? I mean, yeah, that's what I did on this whole section right here. I cut it down so I could reach the bottom with the bucket, and I'm starting digging. I'm digging sections as I go down instead of just reaching. I was reaching the bottom to start with. I started digging like sections as I go down to the bottom. And the goal is to pick up a, uh, a bucket loader to kind of do the cleanup on the bottom where all the, all the little stuff's left around, right? Right here too, all this little stuff, all that against the wall right there, all that against the wall. Uh, the idea is to get the bucket loader. I've already got my, my extra... Uh, space un unlocked for the claim. I went ahead and unlocked fast travel. I did find a 36 ounce gold nugget when I was digging back there somewhere. And uh, I went and cashed it in so we would start fresh with, with no uh, no gold in our inventory. Uh, but yeah, no, I'd, I'd try to. Uh, but I think I think from now on though, since the, there's no actual overburden, I'm just gonna run it all. I'm just gonna dig it all out. I'm not. I'm not actually gonna level anything. Your guess is 356 ounces. Let's hope so. That'd be great. I'll read off the other guesses here in, in Discord. Uh, so 201, 137, 208, 208.1, 28.11. People just messing with each other now. 190.3, 208.12. <laughs> 208.123. Uh, so the idea is the closest guess without going over, which is why you see a bunch of them there doing 208 point, you know, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, whatever. Um, that's, that's why. <laughs> it's because everybody's just messing with each other. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do another cold, Gold Rush clean out. The last time we did it, uh, Bud Goodrow won a $25 Steam gift card. 
with a guess of 89 ounces. The actual ounces we got was 129.31. So we'll probably do something similar after we after we fill up all 100 buckets next time, which will take a while. But that's what we're playing on. What's up, Gabe? How's it going, buddy? Hope all is well, sir. Good to see you. Hope you're feeling better. Hit the like or dislike or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Big turds for 45 months. Thanks, Gabe, for re-upping the membership for 45 months. I appreciate you, buddy. Much appreciated. Finally feeling human. Heck yeah, man. That's good to know. That's very good. You can put up to four buckets in the magnetite machine? Uh, yeah, but one bucket fills up the gold part, though. Do I want to? Because I don't be trying to. I don't have any empty. I've got one to one empty buckets here. Let it just keep running too, won't it? Or will it? Like once that fills up, does it keep going? I don't want to waste gold. Or does it wait on you to swap a bucket out? That was only ninety-eight percent. What the heck? That one must have been short on the way in. It'll wait for you to put another bucket in? Oh, dang. Okay. Let's try it out. Oh, look at that. It does. It stops at 25%. Okay. I did not know that. All these years, never knew that. Never even knew. All these years I've been doing this. I say all these years. I played it from 2017 to 2018, and then... Uh... came back to it just recently so <laughs> I say all these years I, I haven't really played it that consistently was it 25% per bucket something like that nice yeah I had no idea well, that speeds up the process slightly I mean that's like you can put two in the wave table I know that but. I'm gonna pick the bucket up Buckets are worth 30. Some of these are saying 25. I wonder if it's, I mean, they're 100% full, though. It's weird. Maybe it's because they come out of the mobile wash plant, they're worth less. I don't know. Let's see, that was 25. Weird. Right, we're not going to get that one in there, are we? 60 ounces. Yeah, we're not breaking any records this time. We had a really good streak last time where we were on some 70 ounces of magnetite, 73 ounces of magnetite, stuff like that. We were, we were doing pretty good last time. Could be a little different on the Xbox. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it could be slightly different. It could be 25% on here, 24, whatever it is. Yeah, there, there could be a slight difference for sure. Hope I didn't waste that. I need to look to see. That's like the fact that it just stops and waits on you. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it looks like 25%. Which again, that's, that's fine too. Being able to cram several buckets in here at a time is good. Thirty-three percent in magnetite in one bucket. That's 
the most I think we've gotten. In, in here, anyway. The magnetite buildup. That's the most I think I've gotten in magnetite buildup there. Hey, what's up, Adam? How's it going, buddy? Hope all is going well for you. This could be a massive, massive cleanup, or it could be just slightly over what we got last time. I don't know. Doing, doing no testing uh, is kind of fun because it, you know, kind of leaves you in the dark. You don't know what you're getting. If we can get about 50% magnetite out of this, that'd be great. I think the the, the amount we took last time and, and traded in for an upgrade was like 2,600 or something. And that was only 30 buckets, so... Make any money on this clean out? I hope so, man. Um, some of these buckets are okay. They're, they're averaging about 54, 55 ounces of magnetite, which is not great gold, but again, for not testing, you know, just, just moving dirt, man. I think it's okay. I think we're going to do okay on the clean out. I have the 50 that we're doing the gold, the gold guests on, not for a giveaway this time, just for fun. And then I have an extra 20 right here that we're going to do too. We're going to go and get them all today, I think. Oh, back in line, sir. There we go. When's the change coming? So the name change has already happened. A lot, all the posters and stuff that say Gold Rush, all the Parker Snobble posters and all that, they're already gone. Um, they've been replaced with just pictures of excava excavators, stuff like that. So a lot of that stuff's already changed. But... Um, I don't, I don't know for sure. I know there's a big patch coming at the end of April. Um, at some point. So, uh, I think, I think I chose normal mode, but I'm doing no testing and no loans. So kind of, kind of upgrade normal mode to a little bit harder difficulty. If that makes sense. But yeah. Yeah, I think I chose normal mode. So with the eclipse yesterday, I think it was funny how the how there's so many uh, PSAs about not staring at the sun. Never had a problem with that. Yeah, dude, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why. Um, so Raw, Raw Alerts on Twitter put out a uh, uh, a picture of the Google Google searches for why do my eyes hurt, and it spiked yesterday afternoon. <laughs> Oh man! I want you to keep something in mind, Gabe. The the people that stared directly at the sun and then Googled "Why do my eyes hurt?" Those people vote and drive. Keep that in mind. <laughs> oh man! I just I don't I don't understand people, dude. Life does not, it doesn't have to be that difficult, man. People make life way more harder than it has to, oh god, knocking everything over. Way harder than it has to be. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny, that's a scary thought, I know, Gabby. <laughs> Those people vote and they drive. Uh, what sun, it was cloudy. Dude, it was raining here yesterday, it was pouring down rain. Uh, but it was dark. It did get dark, which is kind of cool. So uh, we went. Out, we we were. I was working yesterday. We went out and uh, just kind of checked out the the rainy weather with it with the with the uh, uh, 
uh, eclipse going on. It was kind of neat, you know. Just, just we didn't get to see it, but I told the guys I was working with go out and stare directly at the sun and get all the vitamin D. Go get all of it. <laughs> And that's why I don't travel anymore. That's right. That's right. That's why humankind will end. Those kinds of people. I mean, I don't. I don't think it'll end. I just think we're gonna. We're, we're slowly actually turning into the movie Idiocracy, which I find hilarious because it wasn't supposed to be a documentary, <laughs> but it's quickly becoming that. Uh, only the name has changed on Xbox. All the posters and music. Uh, two home screen pictures are all the same. Yeah, that that's coming uh, at the end of April, I think. Squarish. Uh, that and the music change and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the music's different, but it's still really good. I like the music. All right, this is our 50th bucket, so we're going to stop here on this portion. We'll run all this, and then we'll clean all that out after this. I don't want to get my gold total first from this. So. Should have one bucket left over here. Like we're going to. What? You wouldn't vote for Mountain Dew Camacho? I mean, yes. Yeah, I would actually, but uh, I'm part of the problem then. <laughs> if I voted for him. Uh, President Camacho. I mean, honestly, like, I feel like Terry Crews is a real enough person. If he ran for president, I'd probably vote for him. All right, that's all of that one. Switch this one on. We go from the the ear ringing grind to the mind numbing shake. I'm just gonna drop all of our buckets right here. We'll come back and pick these up later. There we go. Gold's going in. Have you seen the Planet Crafters coming to full release tomorrow? I did see that, but I'm not I'm gonna be out of town though. I'm not gonna be here. Now, sadly I'm not gonna be here for it. Yeah, it's got what plants crave. Electrolytes. It's hard to fathom a society where we stop watering plants and start giving them an energy drink with electrolytes. I mean, we're just about to, to that point, really. It's Brondo, the thirst mutilator. Yeah, we're just about to that point. Like, if you really look at the, the state of the world, like, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're pretty close to that point right now. <laughs> it's kind of It's kind of sad, actually. I need two of these things. A hundred buckets is going to take a very long time to do. I'm just starting to realize that now. Like, this is only 50, plus a bonus 20 once we get these cleaned up here. But a hundred is going to take a lot. I mean, I don't see us going up to the tier 3 wash plant anytime soon, so... Still a lot of buckets there. There's 20 in the truck. We still got to run through the magnetite separator. We had 50 buckets and we got 53% magnetite, which is about 50% because I think there was already a few percent in there. But Yeah, man, going over to, to Amory to do the railroad festival. Got Little Texas Thursday night.
Yeah, I actually like the music upgrade too, man. The music's pretty good. It's it kind of has the same feel to it, but it's a little more a little more relaxed, I guess you could say. I don't know. I guess it's not more relaxed. It's a it's a little more. I, I don't know. I don't know what it, it's so close. It's it's really good though. It doesn't feel like it's it's a whole lot different. It doesn't change the feel of the game because a lot of times music in the background kind of you know makes the game feel different. It doesn't doesn't make the game feel any different. That's, that's nice. Wish my wife was holding up with the office. Yeah, man. Te Little Texas is always a good show. Um, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but them and uh, Little Texas and uh, Sawyer Brown are going to be in Batesville in June. We'll be doing that one too. And the 90s country cover band Shameless. Be opening for him. yeah little texas saw your browns headlining and shameless is the first act of the night should be some fun on the square in batesville no it's at the uh um the coliseum the batesville coliseum i can't remember the name of it but Yeah, dude, I can't remember the last time that I didn't I didn't think about Batesville Spring Fest. Uh, apparently, we're not doing it this year because it's not on my calendar. But I got dates all the way to June, and normally it's right now. Actually, I think is it normally this weekend? No, the weekend uh, next weekend. It's normally next weekend, I think. Little Texas put out any other songs and kick a little? Dude, they've got like, they've got a greatest album's worth of hits. You may not realize it, but they do. I, I can't even name them all. God Bless Texas was their first big one. Yeah, I mean, they've got so many good songs. Like, once you once you see the name or listen to it for a second, you'll, you'll, you'll remember it. Like, oh yeah, I've heard that too. Like, you may not know the words to it, may not know the name of the song, but you've heard them. So many buckets, guys. So many buckets. Again, I've still got 30 empty ones down there in the trailer. So, <laughs> we're moving here. We're about halfway through. We got 63 ounces. It's pretty good. Probably have to see. Yeah, dude, that was... I wasn't there that year, um, but our guys were, like everybody else was. They told me all about it. Pretty happy I wasn't there for that one. And it, and it wasn't like, just, just so people understand, it wasn't a targeted thing. It was, um, I, I don't know if it was officially deemed gang activity or not, but it, it wasn't a targeted thing at the festival. It was, it was somebody having a beef with somebody else, basically is what it boiled down to. Not that that makes it any better, but... Yeah, just just so people understand, well, it wasn't a targeted thing at the festival. You're not a huge country fan, but I've gotten to attend private shows with Alan Jackson and Randy Travis. Dude, you got to see something special if you got a if you got a uh, attend a private party with uh, with Randy Travis. That's that's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big deal. Like 15 minutes from your house, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it was, it again, you know. It, it <laughs> Clarkstone boys, I, man, I don't know, I don't know what the what the whole altercation was about. I know it happened just off the square, not at the actual festival itself. So it wasn't actually at the 
It was it was like a block over or something. You know, disagreement between folks that they can't act right. So. When people start squeezing, stuff has gone too far most of the time. Mo mo the majority of the time. Oh, I bet that was awesome, dude. Yeah, Randy Travis is one I never got to see. I don't think I've ever actually seen Alan Jackson either. Definitely never seen Garth. His, his production is too big. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Am I buying anything in the industry? Yeah, I'm going to get the uh, front end loader, I think. We went ahead and unlocked the extra space for it last time. And I've already got the fast travel unlocked, too. I did that with that 36-ounce nugget we found. Uh, so, yeah, probably getting the... Yeah, probably going to get the... Uh, the front end loader. That way I can do all the cleanup and stuff down there. Because we got a lot of little stragglers and stuff laying around. And, um, I know toward the... Like if I was doing the leaderboard thing. So just reading reading threads on Reddit, uh, Reddit about this. If you use the front end loader on the leaderboard stuff. It's actually like a 7% um, penalty in gold. It's kind of weird. And as you can see, we've only got four days left to winter, so we got to get we got to get all this all the cleanup we can done, and then get all this stuff put away, and then drag it all back out. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. I'm gonna be honest. Only ever only singer I ever saw growing up uh, up close, not growing up. The only singer you ever saw up close was BB King down in Tutwiler. I bet that was cool, man. I never got to see BB King either. That would be cool. No, it throws off my rhythm if I grab the wrong one. There we go. 105 ounces. The goal is to get that thing. I got to make sure I got enough to pay the uh, the 30% rental fee. You're in there riding with the King Tour? Oh, I bet that was cool, Gabe. That's pretty sweet, man. His bus stop where you're hooking up uh, DTV. Nice, man. That's cool. I've met a lot of the 90s country guys. Um, I think one of the coolest ones was probably Sammy Kershaw. Hello? I wonder if we're out of fuel. Oh, we're out of fuel. <laughs> I was like, what happened? We're out of fuel. Empty. There we go. Back we go. Come on, we gotta get back before. I didn't think about that. We gotta get back before this thing empties out. I don't. I wanted to give me the total all at once. There we go. I think we had a bucket sitting right in front of it. That's all right, though. The buckets are piling up over here. What do we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, uh, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen buckets left. So that was number twenty we put in there, so over halfway done. We're up to 122 ounces. 
I don't know if we're going to get the the two... What did somebody say? 356? Definitely not getting 356. Whoever guessed that in chat. Uh, the 208's going to be close, though. Let me see what the zero guessed. I think this was 201. 201.7 might actually be closer. But 201 to 208 is not much. Bud guessed 190. 190 could be close. Yeah, none of these buckets were like 70 or 80 ounces of magnetite, so none of them are going to be 5 or 6 ounce buckets. They're all going to be 2.5 or so. You guys included the extra 20 in the truck. Ah, okay, okay. See, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, if we get to if we get to 200 ish, then the extra 20 in the truck could put us closer to three. Yeah. One million tons of gold. That's my guess. I mean, that would be that'd be like a whole asteroid, wouldn't it? Your wife bought you tickets to see Boys to Men? Bill Bib to vote? Nice, dude. That's going to be a cool show. I forgot all those people were, were touring again, man. Yeah, I forgot about all that. Yeah, you know what? I forgot about doing it. We did like three stops for the 90s tour when it was going on. If it's still going, it's probably still going on. But. Um, I got to meet Vanilla Ice uh, a couple times. Um, Young MC, Coolio, like some of those guys. Uh, Young MC by far seemed like the most uh, humble guy out of the bunch. Uh, Vanilla Ice, super, super nice guy. Not what he used to be. I remember working with him at some point, and he was kind of he was kind of hard to work with. But I mean, that was years and years and years ago. But it may just it may have been because, like, he likes things a certain way, you know, and that's fine. It doesn't make you it doesn't make you a hard person to work with. It's just, you know. You have to do things a certain way, or you know, it's, it's not right. So, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's cool. And cut you a deal on a remodel of your house. I mean, I don't have his number personally. If I did, I would I'd holler at him, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I need to remodel. I mean, he's got a lot going on, though, dude. He's got a lot going on. Coolio had a cooking channel on YouTube? Really? I bet it was, I bet it was good, too. But it was, it was either good or it was a comedy skit. But I'm going to say, given that Coolio seemed like a pretty serious guy... We'll say it was it was probably a he probably cooks cooks some pretty good food. What's up, Jeremy? How's it going, buddy? And if you told me like Jack Black had a cooking show on YouTube, I'd go, yeah, that's definitely a comedy bit for sure. Up to 167 ounces. This is definitely our biggest clean out yet. Definitely the biggest one yet. I remember, I remember when we first started back, we got like 30 or 40 ounces. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how long it's going to be before we can actually start buying pieces of equipment for the, for the tier three wash plant up there. So, you know, like we might as well enjoy what we got. What's up, Ethan? How's it going, buddy? I 
John Witherspoon had one when he was alive, and it was also oh, a bit, yeah. Dang. Jack Black. Jack Black is funny, but when he puts every uh, when he does something, he just put everything he's got into it. And does it well? I mean, that's true too. Yeah. I mean, if he wanted a serious cooking show, he could probably do it. Chavez, what's up, buddy? How you been, man? Starting to wonder about you the other day, man. Good to see you back. Good to see you still around. All right, we've officially we've officially made it to the point now where 208 might be too high. 201 is looking close, but the 190 from Bud is looking realistic here. I don't know, it's still pumping out a lot of gold. Let's see. I don't remember what these first few buckets were we put down over here. How many? How much magnetite they had in them? The 190 is looking more likely. Do you have events turned off? I guess I do. I don't. I didn't think I did. Like I mean, I still get nuggets and stuff from time to time, but it's pretty rare. Yeah, one million tons is not going to happen, I don't think, though. No. Sadly. Busier than a cat covering up turds. I hear you, man. You running like a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs, huh? Bear attack or something stole the gas. Oh, no, no. Yeah, those are all... Yeah, I've had somebody steal my gas out of the truck. Uh, I don't think we had gold stolen, but I typically don't keep any either. Unless they can steal it out of your buckets, which that might be the case. So, all right, while that's finishing up, this is our last one. Let's go ahead and set these down over here. Get ready to do these. 68% there. Forty-six percent. Eighteen. Okay, it's getting along there. Two hundred and six ounces of gold. Two oh six, so the two oh eight was too high. Zero was was the was the winner. Two oh one point seven. Yeah, dang, that's pretty good. All right, we gotta keep going though. We got more gold to process here, so let's flip this one off. Flip this one back on. Let's go and get all these out. This this goes quick on the magnetite, so. Yeah, 206.10. I, I took a screenshot of it and dropped it in Discord. Which is what I'll, all of we... When we do the giveaways, like the actual giveaways, with the gold guess, I'll, I'll always screenshot it and drop it in Discord. So. Not all of them. I think that's it. Alright, sweet. This is already running. Let's get this going. the moon how's it going exactly Chavez said yeah man busy busy these days that's good though being busy is good not being busy is terrible like I may, I may not always seem like I'm doing anything but I'm pretty much always working on something 
even if it's just playing video games. <laughs> it's, it's always for content. I was playing Gold Rush last night, played for a couple hours just to grind out some buckets and stuff. Lined all my buckets up, got everything ready to do the clean out today. But yeah, we've had we've had stuff stolen. We've had gas stolen, yeah. Uh, again, I don't think we've ever had gold stolen though, but again, I don't leave it in my inventory though. Well, I say I don't. I mean, I guess I have, but I usually work through the night anyway. So I don't, I don't know if that counts or not. Yeah, all this kind of came out of the same line of gold here, so I don't know if any of these are going to be any better than what we were getting. These are probably gonna be pretty similar. 53, yeah, looks like we're going to average about 50, 50 ounces of magnetite again. Steal it out of your... They'll steal it out of the buckets? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I haven't slept in-game. I've just been working the whole time, but I guess that doesn't matter, does it? They'll likely still steal it while you're down there working. I didn't know they'd steal it out of the buckets. Dang, that's tough right there. Fifty-five. Yeah, we're not we're not really seeing any big numbers of magnetite this time around. Last time was exceptional. We had several buckets that were 70, 70 ounces of magnetite. I do know the amount of magnetite we're about to take though is going to be good. We need we need that upgrade, but we it cost us less. I'd like to be able to smelt more at a time. That would be good. But the cost is one big thing we got to get down. And I definitely think we're going to get enough magnetite for that. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen the magnetite bucket that full. What's up, Aussie? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. For every 10 ounces, about 10,000. That's about right, yeah. So I think it's $1,200 an ounce or something right now. Oh, the wrong one. That one. There we go. Uh, I hope they update the, the game to have a, an updated gold price. Because gold prices today are higher than they were in 2017, so. Be okay for 3 a.m.-ish? Yeah, uh, that's early. <laughs> that's early. Got more irons in the fire than I want right now. I hear you, buddy. I hear you, man. I'm back doing shows and have three YouTube channels and a Twitch channel, I know. <laughs> it's probably not the same kind of work, but I'm staying busy, that's for dang sure. I mean, I guess the, the upside for members on YouTube, Patreon members, and Twitch subscribers is me doing shows, you're getting some bonus content again. It's the only, only benefit, I guess. Which is just more work for me, really. It takes a lot of effort to try to do do my work, record, and then come home and edit it all down and make it into a video. This guy right here just will not... He's drunk. It's a drunk bucket. Oh, we can put another bucket in there, can't we? Yeah, we should always end with a bucket in there that's empty. In theory. How's Bup doing good? Doing good, man. He's uh 
He knows when it's feeding time. He's starting to bark at us when he's when it's getting close, which is good because he's letting us know. Good to see him with that much energy again, honestly. The benefit of having a toilet or TP next to our name. Yeah, that's true. Gabe, you're getting pretty close to getting the plunger, I think. You're at 45 months? 48? I think four years you get the plunger. You found your pup? Oh, that's right. You weren't here, man. Yes. Yeah. Um, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, Monday. Yeah, dude. One of our neighbor's kids saw him. He was on the side of the road about 100 yards from, from our neighborhood. Yeah, he was laying on a... And skip this next part if you're of a sensitive disposition. Uh, he, he was laying on a dead carcass, licking the bones of it. And he himself was skin and bones. So, uh, he was in pretty bad shape. But no broken bones. He's got a level 5 heart murmur. But, you know, all you can do is medicate and hopefully it goes down a little bit. It's never going to go away, but... Um... Other than that, man, he's gaining weight good. We uh, we got him. He's on a special diet to get his weight back up and stuff. I, I don't. A lot of people may not know this, but overfeeding syndrome is a thing. So if your dog, if your animal ever disappears for a long time and they come back and they're just skin and bones, don't just feed them all you can feed them. That'll that'll probably kill them. So uh, yeah, he's on a very special diet on special food. Lots of protein and calories and stuff and very little amount of food packed in there, so try to get his weight back up without without hurting him. But yeah, dude. Yeah, two months and three days he was gone. Last weigh at the vet was 60, 60 pounds. When we got him back, he weighed 24 or 27. I can't remember. So he had lost over half his body weight. But yeah, he's doing good, man. He's got some energy for a little while right after he eats, and then of course he slows down some, but you know, it's good that he's up moving around a bunch, get working the muscles out, so. I didn't pay attention to the gold, uh, I mean to the magnetite, and Alan says, anybody, anybody see any really big numbers pop up? I didn't. There we go. I purchased four rental houses. Got a daughter in, daughter in college for nursing. Keeping up with the grandson. Got two government contracts to oversee while driving full time. I mean, yeah, I would say you got a lot more going on than I do. <laughs> Again, different kinds of work, but I'm always busy doing something. I, I bet yours is a little more lucrative than mine is, though. Good for you, man, though. Seriously. Good for you, sir. That's always, always good to see. Still a lot of buckets to go. He didn't get out of your sight too much. He goes, so our, our, our backyard's fenced in. Um, but he'll go out, he'll do his business, he'll kind of wander for a second, and then he'll come back in. He doesn't stay out too long. He, do, he doesn't stay out too long at all. At all. Uh, the other day it was super, super nice and warm and sunny. He went out, did his business, and just laid down in the grass. <laughs> he just laid there. So that was good to see too, man. It's good to see him back with his... He's, he's starting to get his personality back, which is good. Think I need something else? I don't What else are you going to add to that, man? You want to edit YouTube videos? I got, I got plenty of content that I'm making that you can edit for me. 
What's up, Junior? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Junior reminding everybody. You ought to take up knitting. Yeah, take up knitting, man. That'll that'll pass some time. Hey, achievement all night long. Collect 70 ounces of gold during a night. I didn't know that was an achievement. That's awesome. Been playing a new cafe owner sim. So addictive. I heard the grocery store simulator is really addictive too, man. I saw a bunch of it. Like even KJD, KJD8. Cage 838. Cage 38. I can't remember what his name is. I, I can't remember his numbers and his name. Uh, he was even playing it. And he's a big survival game player, as far as I knew. Yeah, he was even playing the grocery store simulator. Yeah, I may have to check. What's, what's it called? Cafe Owner Sim? I'll check it out. Waiting. We're waiting. Up to 256, though. That's really good. Oh no! I dumped it too soon. Crap. I didn't mean to hit the button. I just hit it when I was moving back over. I was trying to move back this way. Instead of hitting D, I hit E. Dang it. Cafe owner simulator. Yeah, I'll check that one out. I went Thursday and got two little bags for 86 bucks. I know, dude. Everything's so expensive. If I wasn't back on the road, I'd help out. Nah, I'm just picking at you, man. I can't I can't afford to pay an editor. Uh the stuff for the stuff for Pixel Deuce plays and Farmer Deuce isn't making any money, so. It wouldn't be a benefit to anybody else either. <laughs> I'm just trying to diversify my YouTube portfolio, you know? All right, I think we lost probably two, two or three ounces there of gold. Of me dumping that bucket early, dang it all. Wasted a whole bunch. Oh yeah. Throw this magnetite in the truck while I'm thinking about it. Whoop. There we go. Give me that magnetite. Go. Gotta take that and dump it off at the trailer. Yeah, the claim owner is going to get a hefty chunk of gold, man. Hefty chunk of pay dirt. 276 ounces right now. Probably end up with about 280. Go to the shop and buy a pouch of tobacco. Guess how much we paid for a gram? I have no idea. For a four... I can't see the... I can't see the number of the little heart things behind it. A 45 gram pouch? How much? Let's see. Australian dollars. Uh, $45. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, you said 45, 45 gram, right? Uh, $53. I'm just guessing. I don't know. There we go. 75 more ounces. Okay. 
Added zero ounces of your gold in your account. That was weird. Okay. 282 ounces. We did hit the 200 mark. Sweet. Let's go turn this thing off down here. And we'll head on into town. I've already got a fuel refill. So that's done. The trailer's sitting up there somewhere. But yeah, you can see. I mean, I've made it all the way. I just couldn't get to this because I was digging from here. So we're scraping down the edge. I want to get the front end loader and clean all this up too. Uh, we're, we've made it all the way back to the the bedrock on the back of the claim. So now we just got to start going. What what my plan is, just dig my way. Oh, that thing's, thing's leaning a lot. Uh, my plan is to dig my way out of here and go backwards and start cleaning this side off. Move those around with me and just keep them in front of me the whole time. That's my plan. And we're going to back all the way out of here, digging on both sides. So, well, really just digging in front and on this side of us the whole way back. And then I've got another little road cut already over here. We're going to come over to this road. And we're going to start up here and we're going to dig backwards. And we'll just keep going. There's a whole bunch of claim left to dig, though whole bunch of claim left to dig. But yeah, I'm not even going to move the overburden this time. I'm just, there is no overburden, really. I'm going to dig it all. Whoop. All right. 120. Wow, dude, that's crazy. $120 for a 45-gram pouch of tobacco. Jeez. That is a lot. Do I own the land? I do not. We're still renting. I probably should just buy it outright. But I don't think we need to take anything else with us, right? Well, I think we're good. Let's go smelt some gold. Smelt some gold. Yeah, this is just the the old Arnold's where you your lease agreement or whatever is zero to rent. You just pay a percentage of gold. I should probably just buy it. I thought you only paid on your lease if you, uh... No, oh, I forgot the magnetite. No, I've got it in the back of the truck. I just drove past it, though. You're right. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I thought you, on the old Arnold claim, if you're not, if you're not, if you're leasing, you only pay when you mine gold. Or does it charge you through the wintertime? I didn't realize that. Okay, we're gonna have to figure that out. Alright, we got 386 ounces, .3. 5.3 of magnetite. Anybody want to take a guess on the amount of magnetite we're going to get? I'll let you. I'll give you a second. Or uh, flip the lever. The bucket was, what, 68 ounces or something? Or 68%? It charges you 98 grand when you slept through winter? Holy crap. Been here just getting stuff done. Yeah, no problem. No problem. What is that in ounces, Aussie? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the conversion. I don't know what it is. I'm one of those what people uh, in other countries would call a dumb American. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the metric metric units. I only know American units. <laughs> I have no idea. If I didn't smoke, I'd be a millionaire. I understand. I understand completely. Could have been one of the bugs on Xbox. It's about 100 ounces. Yeah, I know. That's what's crazy. I mean, it's like 90 ounces for sure. 100 ounces is about 100,000. Yeah, that's crazy though. It shouldn't charge you 100 ounces of gold when you didn't, when it's just winter time and you didn't have any gold. That's, that's wild. What if I don't want to sleep through winter? What if I want to go around and pick up all the stuff? 1,700 ounces? Pet finger syndrome? Oh, okay. I got you. 1,700 ounces. All right, let's flip the bucket. It's 7%. 
in the trailer, which is actually quite a lot. 4,368 ounces. That's 4,100 ounces of gold, uh, magnetite. Yeah, we're getting an upgrade. 4,100 ounces of magnetite. That's a pole. There we go. That's, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, we're definitely getting an upgrade. We may get both upgrades. The, uh, the price reduction and the time reduction? I think one of them is like 1,200. And then we'll start saving up that magnetite for later. Whoa! <laughs> oh, easy. Easy, fella. I like the nighttime eerie music. It's still pretty good, I think. What's up, Wolfgang? How's it going? Oh! Took out a road sign. I could have just fast traveled, I guess. But I don't know if it cost you money to fast travel or not. I hadn't used it. I mean, I guess since we're doing a no loan, we should probably do a no fast travel too, right? Oh, I didn't have my lights on bright. Sorry, guys. All right, let's go do the... I thought there was a gold bar laying there. So I thought I sold all my gold. Uh, upgrade. So the time reduction, definitely. But the cost reduction is the main one. Now, those are only 1,200 each. I've already got these two. Oh. Increase by nine? That would be well worth it, but the cost and the time probably need to be done. And that leaves us with... Uh, it still says 4,200, but that's not right. Those are 2,400 each. We've already got the gold loss and the max gold... Yeah, now we have 1899 upgrade stuff, and I don't have... Yeah, this was the one I really want. Uh, gold loss reduced by 3. Although, smelting amount increased by 9 would be great. <laughs> smelting cost reduced by 3 would be great, too. But reduced by 2 now is fine. That's fine. Yeah, I want to get all these upgrades at some point. All right, let's melt some gold. 80 ounces, we're only losing four. Or before, we were losing two ounces on 20. Right? That's pretty good. That's that's one ounce per 20 now that we're losing. It's going to cost me $3,900 instead of 6000 or whatever it was, $8,000. Um, yeah, and it caught, and it's only seven, uh, seven, seven minutes? Yeah, seven minutes in game. It's better than 15 or whatever it was. Smelt the gold. We're going to do this a few times. It says I don't have enough money. We clearly have enough money, though. We still got 200 ounces to smelt. Heck yeah. It does not cost to travel. That's good to know. I'm, I'm glad I know that now. Deuce driving the way he normally does, yeah. You know me all too well. <laughs> It's been your goal for a while to unlock those. It takes a long time to get that much magnetite together. I mean, that was that was 70 buckets from the... Um, oh, gold's done. That was quick. Holy crap, that's great. Uh, that was 70 buckets from the mobile wash plants. And we only got 4,100 in... Uh, In magnetite. 76 ounces. Keep the rent in gold, otherwise you'll be paying twice. Dang, man, I need to smelt it, though. Wait, you pay twice? If you smelt the gold? What if I just went and bought the place? How much does it cost to buy? I don't think I can buy it yet. I don't have enough money. Keep about 12 ounces of gold? Well, 12 ounces isn't going to be enough for rent, though, is it? Oh, 
to smelt the gold and to pay the rent. That's true. Okay, well, let's go sell this then. We'll hang on to what we got in gold for a minute. And we'll let that click on over. Yeah, good call, cleaning green. Sometimes it's save and end of the day just see how much I should hold back in gold. I mean, that's that's a good point. Yeah, will it take it out of the gold first instead of the money? Or if I have the money, will it take it out of the money first? Like, because I'm about to sell these bars. If I sell these bars now, will it take it out in cash or will it take it out of the gold? That's what I need to know. It'll take it out of gold first. Okay. All right, sweet. So we can go ahead and sell these then. $92,000. $92,000. We're getting a better price for gold. No, we're actually... Yeah, we're getting a better price than we were the other day, for sure. Not by much, but... They'll take the gold first. But all cash is done at a higher rate. Yeah, so I need to hang on to that first then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the diff block, I know. There we go. Got 282 ounces. Wrong button. There we go. Figure all these out in a minute. All right, it's bucket loader time. Wheel loader time, whatever. Phone doesn't quit ringing. I hear you, buddy. $134,000. We got plenty. My game con con console has the new screen, but hasn't changed anything else on console. Still have the Gold Rush picks and all. Yeah, Aaron, it's supposed to update. Um, they're talking about updates by the end of April. So you should be, should be good by the end of April. I just don't know. Is this worth it? I mean, with the two mobile wash plants, I feel like it is worth it, honestly. I feel like this is definitely worth it. Do a whole bunch of cleanup stuff. I just don't want to spend money on something I don't need. Like the excavator is working fine, but everybody says the the wheel loader with two because you can dump this one bucket will dump into two mobile wash plants side by side. So is it worth it, guys? Should we buy it? End of winter will be a lot cheaper. So we don't sleep through winter then. We stay up through winter. And then buy this guy. Just save up the money until then. Keep going like I'm going. Like I said, we've already got the slot unlocked. Oh, my mouse died. <laughs> I was like, why did I quit moving? I was trying to turn. I couldn't turn. Buy because it would make it quicker? It will, for sure. It'll make things faster. There we go. We're back. Um, so people have been pointing out, like, I went to Reddit on the Gold Rush thread, and I was asked, you know, what what's next for Gold Mining Simulator, Gold Rush the game, what people would like to see. And, and some of the comments were good. I mean, actually, all the comments were good. People want, like, an inventory system for small stuff, right? Which I kind of see. A bigger bucket for the big excavator. Because this bucket is not that much bigger than that one. In the grand scheme of things, right? Like, the really big excavators, the bucket is twice that size. So it would be nice to see a bigger excavator. Just sleep the last day of permafrost, everything's cheaper? Okay. All right, so we'll keep going. We got four days till winter left, so we'll we'll just we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Uh, I want to kind of. I'm waiting, kind of waiting around till uh, midnight. Looking around for any of the little stories. I don't know where they're all at, but one of these days I want to find them all.
Back to work. All right, Aaron. Thank you for popping in, hanging out with us. Walk around. Do we see a little thing pop up? In loving memory, Charles J. Smith, George D. Smith. Thanks to all you have done for this family and company. Oh, I didn't know it was there. Responds to Junior Hyde. Thousand dollar reward. Junior's a very good boy who will come to you if you call him. Please, if you see him, contact immediately. We're very worried about our baby. Yeah, I know that feeling. Oh, there we go. Everyone keep chasing your dreams. You will get there someday. To everyone from Vernier, let's keep on building our dreams. Nice. Alaskan hero. This man is known as Alpha Bear. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is a save. If you ever have a problem with bears eating your water hoses, call him. With bear hands, he's able to take responsibility with bear, take take talk reasonably with bears, telling them to stop attacking people. Since they won't resolve any of their problems, he's known for his warm hugs, which are solutions for everything. Okay. I've never actually stopped to read all this. What does it say? Note to self: Gears do not enjoy. Bears do not. It looks like a G. Bears do not enjoy cuddling. Yeah, they do not. No. Always follow your heart and make your dreams a reality. Because we only have this one life to so live it to its fullest. Pretty good. There's three there are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toll for gold. Pretty cool. I've never actually stopped to read these. Do you want to be a miner? New mining school opened. I'm gonna teach you how you can use a shovel excavator and some drills. The simple tricks are going to teach you. We're going to teach you uh, tricks. Will, with these simple tricks, we're going to teach you. You'll be able to get rich in just one hour of mining. Check us out. I don't believe that for some reason. When faced with a mountain, I will not quit. I will keep striving until I climb over, find a pass through, tunnel underneath, or simply stay and turn the mountain into a gold mine. Robert Schuler. The road from legitimate susp uh, suspicion to rampant paranoia is very much shorter than we think. Captain Picard. Future belongs to those still wanting to get out of, to get our hands dirty. Not get out of, get our hands dirty. Have you seen this man? Name probably something epic. Eyes blue, features handsome, special features, lush beard. Last seen in his house probably. He's not missing or anything. Just wanted to point... Dang it. Yeah, 84 ounces. There we go. 84 ounces of gold was the provision. Um, so processed pay dirt, 474, 447 yards. To be fair, the day before, though, day five, uh, five days to winter, I processed something like 1,700 yards of dirt. So 282 ounces of gold. All right, so now I can sell the rest of it. There's only 37 ounces left to sell. He's not missing anything. I just wanted to point out is awesome beard. I mean, look at it. That thing's pretty impressive. If you want to talk or something, call. There you go. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I wonder if that's one, that's one of the dev team, right? It's got to be. Got to be one of the dev team. What's over here? Gold mining simulator. Yeah, there's the new posters if you guys haven't seen them if you're on console or something. Cat missing, huh? Somebody stole one of the excavators. Fly high. Breakfast 8 to 10, dinner 10 to 8. Camping with Jason, Crystal Lake. If you know, you know. I know exactly what that is. Special offer free coffee. Minimum order $40. I mean, that would, that's not hard to do in Alaska, man. Everything's expensive in Alaska. Of course, $40 for food right now is not hard to do anyway. I've never just gone around and read all these. If you're reading this, you must be rich. Get your dig on and be rich like me. <laughs> uh, work hard to achieve your dreams. Intelligence means nothing if you're being rude about it. Christopher P. 
Baker? Becker? We out here just digging away hard on the hard on the the what? The bugs? I don't know what that means. Howdy peeps. Keep on keeping it real. Good luck everyone. Stay true and find lost lots and lots of gold. Lost gold, no, lots and lots. Lilstrom is closer than you think. The risk of gold mining. Relexi was here? Is that, that, is that what that says? Danny, Helen, Logan, and Hazel. Done in some very fancy artwork. Good luck, have fun, and donate to your local fire department. Guns up and wreck them. Texas Tech. I mean, that's... Yeah. That, that sounds like Texas Tech. Sky. The future... This is the future site of Dragon's Den. It's not... Not looking very promising for him. Quitters never win and winners never quit. We got the Midas Touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. It's not like Mr. Gold's been over here on this side, huh? Catfish Johnny. Catfish John, 1979. Catfish was here. In dust, in dust we, in dirt we trust. In dust we trust. September 2017. Azrael was here. YouTube.com. Azrael. Azrael's. Azrael Sutcliffe. Is that a, is that a, that must have been a backer of the game or something. Must be backers that get to put in all the posters. It's pretty good though. Never really considered that. Yeah, Azrael Sutcliffe. Uh, is that? Is this one of the backers, or is this night of gaming, streaming of fun competitions? We have 24 PC stations, eight consoles, four VR sets, and free coffee. Make sure to reserve your spot beforehand. Is that is that something they did? I missed that. There's gold in them there, heels. There is, yeah. Haynes Gaming Tournament. Clifford, Alaska. No. Clifford, a.k.a. Miku. Eyes are not what they used to be, apparently. Win prizes. Haynes School Gym, August 13th, starts at 10 a.m. Did they actually do this? Billy the Miner. This is one of the most famous miners in Alaska. Why, you ask? This is the first person ever to find a huge amount of gummy bears on a gold mine, gold mining place. We knew Alaska had such huge deposits of gummy bears. I didn't actually mute my mic. I did not know they had a huge deposit of gummy bears. Must have picked all the stuff up in downtown here. Welcome back, Ethan. Oh, did not mean to pick that up. Just trying to get in here. Cool. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Yep, Planet Crafter full release tomorrow. I won't be around though, sadly. Right, I think the only thing I need to buy is probably um, Actually, you know what? I don't think I need to buy anything. I've actually got a hundred buckets. I don't need any buckets. Jeff, you haven't seen it here what the posters stuff look like. That's the new gold mining simulator poster they put up. I'm, pro I'm guessing these are probably temporary placeholders. Like, I was thinking about buying another one of these, but I don't think I need it. Like, maybe another wave table magnetite separator. I can buy those later if I need them. I got the big diesel water pump. I don't think I need either, any of this. We have all this stuff. 
What's up, Bob? How's it going? What's your what word for what Celtic Moon? I don't I don't know what you're asking. If you're looking for the farm sim stuff, it's all in the the farm sim uh, channel, the info channel. I don't have any of that stuff yet. I've already bought like one of each of all this stuff. Oh, I don't have a reinforced fuse for the water pump though. I'll probably need that at some point. And I've already replaced the sprayer bars. I've got an extra engine laying around. I've got extra parts for that. Yeah, I got extra everything laying around, I think. Don't need those. We're not doing drilling. I don't really think I need to buy anything. We can go process the rest of this gold, I guess. We're going to save money for transport equipment storage. I think I'm going to put most of it. I think pretty much everything I got will fit in my storage building. Like, that works too, right? My partner code for farm sim. Oh, yeah, if you're, if you're buying on Giants website... Use code DUSMS at checkout. Yeah, I think everything I got will fit in the... Uh, I think we'll just wait. I think we'll just wait. We'll do what uh, SMA uh, suggested. We'll wait till the last day. We'll sleep till the last day of winter. Can you pick how many days you sleep through winter? Like, we'll skip, like part of winter time and then uh, we'll buy the buy the thing then I think that would be good to go to the station there's one there I don't I don't know if I picked that one up yet you can just sleep day by day okay cool 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 yeah we may do that we may just wait so somebody, somebody pointed out that if I go down that trail to my left back there, some stuff. Let's do that real quick, actually. I don't want to actually start digging. I'm going to have to take off here in a minute. Again, the pup's on a very strict feeding and med schedule, so I've got to, got to end at certain times. But uh, I wanted to get this clean out done today. This is kind of a big deal, so I'm glad we got it done. It didn't take as long as I thought it would, but that extra 70 buckets made a big difference. I know that. Let's just, just come up here and go to nothing. What is this? I know this comes out at the back of our claim, too. And I think we've already picked a few of these up. Yeah, there's our claim there. Oh, I meant to check to see how much old Arnold's was. Just to buy it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's this one. Found a new part of the story. Check your journal to read more. Okay. Keep going. I want to get all the parts together and just put a, a story video together. Of all the lore and such in the game. I think I've ever been back this way. Let's go somewhere. No, it just turns here with everything else. Okay. Could have gone this way then. This just comes out on the back of the claim. One of these days we'll get to. Is six hundred thousand to buy? Okay. Yeah, I'm not buying it yet then. Not yet, sadly. We've already done the uh, the water, the the tower, lookout tower thing. We did that pretty early on.
Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, again, we're 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 not gonna claim out here, man. We got a lot, a lot, a lot done so far. The wheel loader should speed things up a bunch, hopefully. And again, I got a hundred buckets to do, so. What is this right here used for? What do you guys do with this area? Because when I played in 2018, I don't remember this being here. Maybe it was, I just didn't do anything with it. What do you guys do with this? Like, what are you doing with this area? And this looks like a great spot for a mobile wash plant and maybe like dump truck. Coyotes are out. Like, I don't know. You put your mobile wash plant there and then your dump truck here, back up. And tip in there. Nothing, you don't do anything with it? Okay. What's up, Spider Ed? How's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, between this mess of buckets here and the buckets we got, that's 70 buckets laying there. It's insane. Always wondered about that yourself, yeah. I know what all this is for. But that over there looks like... I mean, it looks like an area you would... You would park something under and then back up the ramp and dump into it, right? That's the perfect size for a mobile wash plant right there. I don't know. I don't know what it's used for. Seems kind of weird, but... I don't know what I would do with it if I did anything. The, the dump truck is pretty big. I mean... That's not a whole lot of area to back that dump truck up here. But that does look like it would work. Back the dump truck up here and, and dump into a mobile wash plant. Which... Oh, is something still running? I cut that thing off! Dang, man, we wasted like 50% of our fuel in that thing. I guess we could go ahead and take this and put it up. Have I bought the water tower yet? I have not, because... Um, this right here has been working great for our mobile wash plant setup. So basically, I'll take a hose out of this and pump it into our water tank. And we're not using very much of that at all. Like, even with two mobile wash plants, we're still pumping like an extra three or four gallons or whatever into this for storage. Even during the summertime, I don't think we're going to run out of water. So, just with that setup right there. Pretty good setup, actually. So what I'm doing is I've got one going down, right, uh, to our wash plants. i got one going down to the wave table and stuff. And then I'll have one feeding this. And then if the water runs dry, I'll just take this and switch it over to that. And then we'll start feeding out of that one. So we don't have to worry about it. it works out pretty well. But yeah, I don't think I need the water tower. Not not for this claim. If there's one on another claim, definitely going to get it, though. Go grab the truck. We'll go ahead and move the uh, water trailer over. Put it away. We have plenty of room in there to park it. Yeah, again, I think I can even get the excavator in there. I don't know that it'll fit, but I think it will. And I know we don't need the water trailer for winter time, so we're going to go ahead and pull it in. We go. Actually, hold up. Got two hoses over here we can go ahead and take. The excavator does fit? Nice. Yeah, we'll just put everything in there then. I think I can get it all in there. And I got a couple of things down here we can go ahead and grab. See, what do we need to take this guy off? I can't remember what it is. Good driver? Wrench. I think it's a wrench. 
Can we take that off when it's not broken? It doesn't look like it. No, I don't guess we can. Okay. Ninety-two percent. That one's ninety-two percent. What's this one though? Well, let me read that one for some reason. Okay. What? Are, oh, we can. Can we add some? Why is it? Why is there a shadow right here? That's weird. First time I've seen that glitch. All right, we'll go ahead and take that. That's kind of a strange, strange graphical thing going on. Fell in. Good deal. Grab this one. Yeah, it won't actually let me take it apart because it's not broken, I guess. Only one breaks on it. Oh, only one breaks on it. Okay. I bought two lights, though. I think that's everything I can pick up. Everything else is hooked to something. Yeah, everything else is hooked up to something. Or it's being used currently. Gas can. Throw it down here. Yeah, I don't know if I should go smelt the rest of this gold or not. Maybe it sells better in the winter time? If I wait till winter and sell gold, is it uh, that 37 ounces will it be better? We got three days to winter though. So next week when we come back, we're going to have uh, a grindy couple of days, uh, two days, just to get stuff ready. Um, get as much gold as we can, and then... Try to... Get, um... The gold smelted, if nothing else. Why are you falling out here? What's happening? Okay. Put you up there. Oh, fell out the other side. Come on, man. Yeah, we're not getting to that hose. It's gone. This thing won't set on a shelf. Okay, I guess it stayed that time. Save your cash for the big tier stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna have a whole lot of big tier stuff anytime soon, man. Like a lot of it is gonna be. Um. A lot of it's just gonna be. Stuff like the wheel loader, stuff like that. Like, I don't plan on buying anything major. Is that everything? It's everything. There we go. If you use a front end loader, you can just dump directly into the shaker. I mean, that works as long as, you know, I can keep the plant running smooth. I'm good with that. If I can keep the plant running smooth, I'm fine with that. There we go. We'll shut it down. 
We'll come back next week with some fresh buckets and a fresh start. And uh, we'll wait till wintertime and buy the uh, the big, I say the big, we'll buy the bucket loader. And hopefully keep this setup going. And I guess, I guess what you do is you pull up and you dump, right? Into both of them at the same time. That seems that seems reasonable. We'll have to reposition these where we can do that, but uh, yeah, yeah, I think it'll be much faster. And what we might do is position them in a way that I can start cleaning off the top side of that over there. So let me get up over there. We might put them right here at the end of this. I'll show you why. Still dark, kind of, but if we put them at the end where that light is right there, then we can use this little road we got right here, right? And start cleaning this side right here off, picking all them gravels up and such. Uh, we're going to have to... We're going to have to use the dozer to, to cut all this, right? After the permafrost, after winter time, probably. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll start right here at the front. We'll leave them bad boys parked right there on the bottom. And then we'll dig and dump. Dig and dump. It may take us a little while. Maybe even right here. No, there's no good way to get turned there, is there? Yeah, at least here I can do that. I can back up and turn around and dump it in there. Leave them in one spot for a while. I think that'll be good. Gee, I wanna I wanna I'm not even gonna like move any of this overburden. Air quotes overburden. We're just gonna we're just gonna dig it all up. That'll be good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely getting the wheel loader. We're gonna go that route for a while. I used it for a little bit when the game first came out, but I like the excavator much more. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how much faster it is. See how much more efficient it makes us. Efficiency is key, especially when you're fighting constant um, pay for. The gold you mine, that kind of stuff. Uh, whatever's more efficient, we'll do it that way. Uh, that's going to do it for today, though. I appreciate you guys. That is my only stream for the week. I'm working the rest of the week, so I'll see you guys next week. Uh, farm Sim. If you like Farm Sim, on the Farmer Days YouTube channel, this Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern. 3 p.m. Central, sorry, 4 p.m. Eastern. My first episode of uh, the One Acre Challenge on the Frontier will be out. Um, Dinkum on Thursday and Power World on sa uh, Sunday for Pixel News Place channel. Go check those out. I didn't get anything recorded for this channel. I tried. I just didn't get done with anything. So uh, my apologies. No Twitch streams because I'm going to be out of town. So appreciate you guys. I'll catch you next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Thanks for stopping by. Ciao, is Good to see you, buddy. Uh, I'll catch y'all next time. I'll be back next week, next Monday. Uh, hopefully for uh, Sengoku Dynasty and then uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday we'll figure it out. Friday night though probably be back doing some more Medieval Dynasty. Gold Rush definitely going to be back next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday somewhere in there. Uh, and then Twitch streams will be back too. So appreciate you guys. I'll catch you next time. Have a good morning, afternoon, night wherever you are. Later folks. <laughs>